At Dyke last. Stone. I have your Which next is ironic, assignment. It's called if you're ready. Which is funny because it's called Boulder. Yes, yes, I'm ready. For years, we have been gathering the feral ones from the irradiated areas of Colorado, engineering them for a greater cause. In so doing, we've been able to control them, to use them to recon the Boulder Dome. We get a few hours of intel before they turn feral once more. Ordinary humans, even with advanced radiation suits, cannot last but minutes in Boulder due to the intense radiation there. We found evidence that a scientist has recently left the dome and fled into some underground caverns beneath Boulder. We believe he may be in possession of access codes, which will enable you to enter the dome. Once inside, I have an offer I wish you to extend to the scientists. Tell them the Brotherhood has a real cure for the Seltzum Syndrome. So finally we will share off. the cure in exchange for the total assimilation of the Boulder Dome into the Brotherhood of Steel. Keep a card. Do what Got you it. can to convince them. Accuses. I know that time is running out for the scientists, so they have little choice but to submit themselves to us. So you're a good The Brotherhood guy, right? has Boulder's best interests in mind. I will rule it with a fair hand and Ooh. bring peace to Colorado. It Can't must not be allowed to fall into the hands of the corrupt NCR. You mean the NRC? Be cautious if you cross their path. Their captain is a foolish, unstable man. Captain We've Kirk? devised a prototype environmental Jasper armor which should protect you from the radiation while in Boulder. You're the first to use it. Don't be worried, though. I have complete confidence in this suit. It's the product of many years' work. Collect it from Dr. Field. I'd also advise you to study our research and history logs on the terminals, so that you're familiar with the situation in Boulder. Good luck to you. Make it so, Bacallot. Make it so. There's a better way. Better way. Bacallot way. Not Captain Kirk's way. Or the NRC. NRC? Hello, NRC. NRC? NRC. Oh, I'm from the NRC. The new Rebo collection. Hello, Paladin Roach. Paladin Roach. Uh, everyone's just tired. You know, everyone's just like, you know, sleep. No, you're not sleeping. You don't respond to me. You know, I would be like, yes, that there's like a more in the rock at like 3 in the morning, and I'm like, why do you people ever sleep? And now I'm like, these people are sleeping, get the fuck up. So I'm never happy. This one gets like, goes currently. No, no, we don't need to do injections or any other pleasantries or small talk. You don't have to do all that with me. I'm a man of You're science. Tired. I like to get straight to the point. Stay on the point and leave on the point. No hello, goodbye, or how's your uncle? It's all nonsense to me. Hmm. Exactly getting to the point now. Right. Aha, here. quite right. Shall we continue then? Let's continue. Okay. Okay, let's continue. This is the environmental armor. It is a prototype created by myself. It is the product of hours of hard labor and scientific breakthrough. I will not waste time trying to explain how or why it works. The advanced theory would turn the average mind into a quibbling wreck. As it clearly Suffice has it to you. say, this armor will protect you in Boulder. You may not need it inside shelter, but you must wear it at all times when outside. To take it off would mean a slow and painful death, so don't do it. One would think the radiation would have died down after 200 years. One, would One think. might think that, but not a scientific mind. Upon closer inspection, it's not normal radiation. Clearly, ah. it's the result of some chemical weapon. So Look what you've done. And We've diverged again. Life is too short for that. Nothing scientific to do discovery so. can take decades, and we can't waste even a minute. Now let me get back to my work. You have your protective suit, so go and use it. Are you sure this armor will protect me? Yeah, why not? Am I sure? So, it's never been tested practically, but the equations involved in its production are mathematically infallible, I assure you. Are we done? Are we done? I thought we were going to have a calm down candle. Great. There's only about three people in this entire base. That's in the Brotherhood of Steel, Colorado. It's like three people.
rushing the wild one. Uh, Alright, do I have it? Let's check it. Let's check out my environmental armor. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Babe, I look cool, babe. I look cool. Mmm, let's take that shitty little stick off. Use it for later at home. Oh yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Lesbian black woman over here. Okay, let's look around. F. Whoa. That looks pretty good. Time for a woman to crush my breast, though. Okay, let's get it. Let's get here. Get out of here. Let us hit the sea. Uh, should I stop it right there? Yeah. Alright, guys, see you guys tomorrow where we'll be going into Boulder to face the crazy evil ghouls. Go into the underground caverns beneath the mysterious and enigmatic Boulder Dome and uh, find the escape scientists and finally get the access codes into the Itself, by which then we'll decide the fate of the Boulder Dome. And maybe we'll also look for the NRC. See you later. Bye bye. Boom, everyone. Hello. It's we're back in the Boulder Dome world. So let's go. Let's get back to it. Uh, last time we were talking to uh, Mr. Guile, uh, and he sent us to try and find the access code to the Boulder Dome and finally get inside the eponymous little building itself. But uh, in the meantime, let's let's try and get there. Uh, but let's try and explore as we go and explore the world of the world. The world of the world. The dome of the world. Frame rate is dropping. Uh, so, yeah, we last left you, so we're going to go explore right here. So, we're going to take a long walk right here, and it'll be uh, really entertaining and self conscious. One of these explode. Some of them must explode. We exploded last time. Oh, come on. Hmm. So let's keep going. I know Boulder is over there, so we go in that direction. We'll be okay, but I'm pretty sure there's some cannibals over here that jump in and make those creepy noises, which I'm not necessarily in the mood to hear. But uh, let's move on them. Over here. I'm pretty sure there's cannibals over here. I think I'm not in the mood to face them in there. Hmm, gas station looks like what's in here. It's a nice stop. Cannibals spawn in. Hmm? Doesn't appear to be any. You're not a cannibal. I am a cannibal. You have a friendly face. That doesn't make me not I can cannibal. tell. I've been trapped here for two days. Don't have many supplies left in here. My mouth is going all whoopy. How'd you end up in here? I was staying with my brother. <coughs> in the shack town, further up the valley. Then those creatures came down from the caves. They're people too. I guess they were hungry. They ate Steven Spielberg. Where's your brother now? I don't know. I just had to run. He told me to run away, so I did. I had no choice. Those things were coming. He said he'd meet me here, though. I think he's that was you. two days ago. You, you hickster. Hickster. You, uh... I'll see if I can find him. Uh, no! I want to come with you. We'll find him together. Oh, cool. You can't leave me here alone. Those things will get me. I'm coming with you. That's final. Oh, no. Just go outside first and check it's safe. Then come back and get me. Don't be long, though. I don't want to stay here alone any longer. Great, we've got... Thank you. I'll be waiting right here. Thank you so much for helping me. I've got a ball and chain, everyone. I kind of want to go to Boulder. I want to show Boulder for at least so... No! The mask 
Dude, that's a relief. Thanks guys, thanks a lot. You're you're my good bitch now. Thanks so much for that. See I don't know why there's never any human meat in them, that'd be quite cool. I suppose there's not all humans to go around so they're probably starving, but uh would they would they continue to actually exist, you know, if there was no humans around? I mean, I don't know. Maybe there should be some more interaction with the world. Um, but it's cool. A lot more insights from discovering the inventory, sort of looking at the inventory and going, Oh my god, he ate Susie! And there's a bit, there's like Susie's finger in the cannibal's like stomach or something. And, you know, that would be cool. So off we go to Boulder. The Wonder Boulder or rocks? There's stones, there's rocks, there's boulders, there's stones, there's rocks, there's stone boulders. Do, 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 do. And there's a tree. Do, 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 The wonderful rock of Boulder. Shot. We're gonna get tearing apart. We're gonna get tearing apart. Tearing apart here. You know, I don't. I don't know. What we're gonna be by. Or we're gonna get beaten by ghoul soldiers, or the loading screen. We'll wait and find out, shall we? <coughs> awesome. So I know there's a bad guy here. So. Yeah, someone's like you're watching. It's like I know he knows everything. How come he knows? How come he knows everything? Well, I don't know everything. I just, you know, I did make the, I did make the trailer, but don't worry, I don't actually know everything. I only got some of the stuff to make the actual trailer. That's right, you're behind the scenes now. Um, but I know there's back issues, but I know it's been a long time since I had the the ESP. Uh, so um, things could change. I mean, last time I faced these guys, I just had combat armor on. Now they have. Yeah, I God, these guys are crack shots. It's wonderful that I sort of enter the area and get shot at immediately. It's a great game design. I have no option but to just sort of walk over. Yeah. Yep. See what I mean? For fuck's sake. Oh, I need to put the fucking thing on. Is it on? Yeah, I still have the current just around for fuck's sake, you twat. Where is he? Make a run for it. Probably our introduction to ghoul soldiers is built in your face. It's like, oh, that's, that's the sort of. Yeah, the metaphor for the ghoul soldiers. And a grenade as well! Fucking wonderful. You got a radio transmission from your mum. She said she wanted to come home. For fuck's sake! Now they're throwing nuclear grenades! Hi, everyone. These are the. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know it was from Kate. Thanks for telling me. I suppose it can't activate on one radio transmission. Maybe I should say investigate the sort of unknown transmission. Okay, good, I've got the drop from these guys. And then he died. And then he didn't know where they are. And then he died. There's a thing over there. Feral go. Shot. Where are we up them? There's a guy up there. Do I have a sneak? I sneak? Yes, I do have a sneak. Awesome, you're dead, mate. Let's take a look at this new armor. 